Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our November Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. In today's video, we'll be unboxing our bags as well as doing a try on and first impression review. If you guys wanna see any of that and more, then just make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then please subscribe down below. We do beauty unboxings, tutorials, reviews, and so much more everything in the world of beauty because we love to explore also don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads with that being said let's jump straight on into it don't give a hell paparazzi baby you know they always trying to give me a million dollars up the night scene before we get started, I do just want to mention that I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. So if you want to know more about disclaimers, as well as timestamps and product links or mentions, all that will be provided down in the description box below. I will also have my handles down in the description box below. But just so you guys know, you can also follow me at Midnight Moon Makeup on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you guys aren't familiar with Ipsy, Ipsy is a beauty bag subscription that you can get every month. The products in the bags are usually curated to you, but just so you guys know, because these boxes are gifted for review to me, these are not curated to me. There are three subscriptions to choose from. One is a quarterly subscription, which is the Glam Bag X. Then you have the Glam Bag Plus, which comes with five full-size products at $28 a month, and the regular Glam Bag, which comes with five sample to deluxe size products at $13 a month. Occasionally, you do get a full-size product, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's jump into our boxes for the month. As always, my Ipsy unboxings start off with unboxing both bags, and then we get into our try-on and first impression slash review. And of course, you guys are gonna be coming along with me to create the whole look that we'll be actually posting on Instagram. So if you wanna see more product details, again, follow me there at Midnight Moon Makeup. So our theme of the month is Creature Comforts. It's November, 2022, and the weather outside is getting frightful, but we've got you covered with all things delightful. Cozy up to this month's array of creature comforts, nourishing skincare, at-home treatments, and feel-good makeup for guaranteed beauty bliss. This is what our little card looks like. Now, I've never had a personal beauty subscription from Ipsy, so I don't know if you guys get these theme of the months or not. Inside our little pamphlet card, it says, Gather together while you're giving thanks for friends and family this holiday. Make sure to show yourself a little gratitude, too. Treat yourself to a feast of endless beauty inspiration, self-care tips, and warm and fuzzy moments. And remember to share the delight with your fave people. Whether it's your latest skincare discovery or a meme that makes you laugh out loud. Love it, love it. Now let's jump into our bags. So the first bag we're jumping into is the Glam Bag, which is the one that retails for $13 a month and comes with the five sample to deluxe size products. This is the bag of the month and I absolutely am obsessed. I honestly think this is going to be one of my favorite bags so far. The vibe is there for November. Cheetah print. The fabric is really nice. Like if you get this messed up like with makeup or something on it, it will be easy to clean off. I love this red little stripe right here and I just, I love it. It's so cute. First product in our glam bag is this baby. This is the Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream Moisturizer. It's clean, cruelty-free, dermatologist-tested, plant-based, vegan, and non-GMO. It has a 30% recycled plastic tube, which is great for sustainability. And there's hyaluronic acid, coconut water, marshmallow root, and kin biome in the ingredient list. You guys know I have tons of skincare, so I'm not gonna be using this just yet, but I definitely will be keeping it to the side for when I do, so I can do a little review for you guys. Next product we have coming out the bag is the PYT Beauty, the Upcycle Eyeshadow Palette Party in the Nude. This is a sample. The original palette, I believe, comes with like nine to 12 shades. I don't remember exactly. So this is just like a little sample of the palette. And then these are some of the shades in the palette. Honestly, I think it's very basic. Um, I don't know how much this palette retails for. Uh, again, this is a sample one, but I don't know what the original palette retails for, but I will have all that info here in the screen for you guys. We'll see how the formula goes and we'll see if we like it. Third product out the bag is this, and this is the Juicy Gator Honey Bee Wild Honey Creamy Vanilla and Orange Blossom Fine Fragrance Soy Candle. This is what it looks like. 
I honestly think that the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus for this month are going to be my favorite bags so far um, because I just love the items. I, there's a couple more items that are in the Glam Bag that I'm really obsessed with. So you guys will see. You guys will see. I'm a candle fanatic. So that's why I really love this bag. It's just it's a little bit of self-care for the month of November. And who doesn't love that? It smells really good and I, I can't wait to start using it. These actually come in jars that I believe are like right around this size. I don't know the exact size, but I would buy this because it smells so good. Fourth product in our bag is the IT Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. This is what it looks like. I think the packaging is so cool on it, on the actual full size one, because it's literally, it looks like a blowout dryer type of comb thing. Um, you guys got to check it out for yourself. It just, it looks so cool. The packaging is so dope. Uh, but this is how the wand looks. And then the last product in our glam bag is the M2U NYC Matte Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Queens. Of course, we got to have a nice deep dark red for the month of November, Thanksgiving and all the good vibes. And let's go ahead and swatch it real quick. Such a pretty color. Again, it is going to dry down, so it's going to look a little bit darker, but very pretty. Now we're jumping into our Glam Bag Plus. This is a bag with the five full-size products, and it retails for it's $28 a month. This is how our bag looks. As always, we got a drawstring bag, but it complements the Glam Bag. It doesn't have any of like the red lining or anything like that, but still a very cute bag. First product in our bag, and I actually wasn't sure if this was a sample or a full size that got mixed up in this bag, but it is a full size product. This is the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Perfume Oil. I believe this thing retails for around 80 something dollars. Again, I'll have all the info in here for you guys. So I think that's kind of hefty in price, but they are a luxury brand. So do keep that in mind. And perfume oils, usually a little goes a long way. So this should last quite a while. I like the minimalistic approach. I feel like all their products are like that. We did get a hair mask in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I believe, a couple months ago. I don't remember exactly. Um, and the packaging was really simplistic as well. A luxury perfume oil alcohol free line of delicate perfumes higher in concentration than edu perfumes a rich oil that nourishes even the most sensitive of skin and envelops it with fine fragrance housed in italian glass vessels with an elegant roll-on design a beautiful statement of our deep commitment to luxury quality and sustainability at gloss modern radiating a luxurious richness and balance of strength and luminosity universal is our all effective all day to mod, mod modernity i could not say that for the life of me for a second sorry guys but it says there's organic coconut oil and perfume let's go ahead and try this on and it does have a roller top which i'll show you guys in a sec there you go it is an oil it does feel like an oil but it's not like too super greasy it smells amazing it honestly smells like something you could use for a man as well if you guys have a hubby at home you'd like to share it with and that's it a little goes a long way like said with this i did kind of think that already because it's like an oil perfume so like said 80 dollars not too bad not too shabby i'm obsessed with how this smells it does have like a slight muskiness to it but i love i personally love perfumes with that little bit of muskiness to it so this is definitely one i'm keeping in my collection i will be using more next product we have in our glam bag is the iconic london brush set nice little travel case it honestly kind of remind me of the gloss modern packaging very simple very modern and luxe still so these are how the brushes look. Yes, they are eyeshadow brushes. And the handles feel, I wouldn't say extra hefty like some that I have had, but definitely a lot stronger and more durable and they have a little bit of weight to it. So I think these will definitely last me a while. The brushes, they do feel really soft. I can't wait to try it. Can't wait to see the blendability and if these end up making the makeup look chalky or not. Third product in our bag is something that I've actually been really excited to try, at least the brand. This is the Pearlissi, which I'm probably saying incorrectly. 
pumpkin and ginger detoxifying charcoal mask it gently detoxifies pores clarifies and brightens and exfoliates and purifies it's made for oily combination normal and even sensitive skin types i have combo to oily skin so i think this will be a favorite of mine free of parabens mineral oil Lights synthetic color facial treatment infused with pumpkin and ginger to instantly brighten soothe and improve skin texture while providing a gentle exfoliation this is how the packaging looks and in case any of you guys were interested in what type of clay it is it is white clay fourth product in our glam bag plus is the shades by shan the setting spray so i'm always excited to get a setting spray because i just I need more of my collection and I love trying them. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and ginseng for plump, hydrated, and refreshed skin. It's also vegan and cruelty-free and paraben-free. Now, I do want to mention, because some, someone did ask me in my last video uh, in the comments if I could possibly start putting the reviews in the description box it's not something i really mind doing like i don't mind putting something like that in the description box for you guys to really find out i don't wear makeup for long usually when i do these videos uh, i start my makeup right before the video and then i take it off as soon as the video is done so i can't really give a complete wear test and like time frame of me wearing this unless i actually start from the beginning of the day so i personally like to do separate review videos for products like this i wouldn't put it in the description only because i am very forgetful uh, i am a mom of two and prego and mommy brain is such a real thing but if you guys are interested you can leave me a comment and let me know if you guys would like to hear my thoughts on these products over time in a separate video so i can give you a full-on first thoughts and impression for my skin type and for an actual wear test i like the transparent but like very dark bottle seems like it gives good mist last product in our glam bag plus is this baby this is i have to open it up because i don't know how to say it on the front because of the font lettering but it does say it on the inside as well um this is a on your face and eyes color palette this is how the outside looks i absolutely love this packaging it reminds me of like the ed hardy type of designs and stuff like that that just brung back memories uh but this is how the palette looks there is no compact mirror which i'm kind of like sad about because i do like mirrors in my products at least ones that have eyeshadows in them um this is an all over face palette so i would have enjoyed that but it's still a nice looking palette i do like the color story name of the brand is reina rebelde the name of the palette is presumida they're proud to be a latina owned brand offering products that are cruelty free vegan paraben and philolate free i can never say that word i love that like purple and orange right there just so pretty and this highlighter looks very nice that wraps up our two bags for the month now we're going to get into our makeup tutorial before we get started into this look i'm going to go ahead and set my eye base off camera i'm using the CoverGirl outlast extreme wear concealer in shade 845 warm beige i'm not sure what palette i want to jump into today so i might just jump into both and see what we create i'm also going to be jumping into the iconic london eyeshadow brush set so again, just to let you guys know the palettes we're using and what we got, we got the Presumita Face and Eyeshadow Palette and the PYT Beauty Upcycle Eyeshadow Palette and Party in the Nude. Also, before we get started, a little bit of serenity time. I want to light this candle and see how it smells lit. The Juicy Gator Honey Bee Candle. So let's go ahead and do that. yay so first i think i'm gonna jump into the presumita palette i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the shade reina which is this purple right here and we're gonna use that for our crease i'm also taking the fluffiest brush out of the iconic london brush set Now we're gonna go into the shade Chula, which is that kind of orangey shade from the same palette. And we're gonna use that just right on the inner crease 
where we didn't really put any color. We also use the Fine Point Dense Brush from the Iconic London set. Now I'm gonna jump into the PYT Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. We're gonna use this pink shade right here and use that to blend out the orange and the purple at the top towards the brow bone. We're gonna use that with the other fluffy brush from our Iconic London set. Now I'm gonna go back into the first Iconic London brush we used for the purple, and we're gonna go back into that purple shade and just help blend out this pink at the top. Jumping back into the Presumita palette, go into the shade Chispa, which is this one right here. We're gonna use that with the last Iconic London brush, which is more of like a Packer fluffy brush. We're going to use that right on the lid of the eye. Going back into the purple shade from that palette again and just deepening the outer V as well as the inner crease to smoothen everything out. Now we're gonna get into the highlight and blush from the palette because uh, we're pretty much finished with the eye look. I am also gonna clean up the edges a little bit off camera. But before we do that, let's do the blush and the highlight. So for the blush, the shade name is Rosa Blush and for the highlight, it's Soul Highlighter. I also do have to wipe some of the fallout from that purple shade off. Now we can jump into our blush. And I'm just gently tapping this in. I don't want to go too heavy with this color because of the type of look we did today. We did do more of like a deep kind of smoky look. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to go really light. But from what I'm seeing, this is buildable. If you do want to make it a little heavier, more pigmented, this is how the side looks without the blush. And then this is with the blush. Perfect for everyday looks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and we'll get into the highlight. Now we're going to get into our highlighter. I did also just clean up my eyeshadow a little bit with some concealer off camera. It is a very nice highlighter. It does have kind of like a peachy, almost pinkish undertone to it, which I do like on my complexion as of right now, especially with this look. It's coming together pretty well. And I like how that highlighter kind of matches that shade that we used on the lid called chispa and this highlighter is buildable as well i'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this highlight on my face i'm gonna also go ahead and add the highlighter on my inner corner and on the brow bone and then we're gonna come back and do the next product i'm also gonna do the liner off camera and curl my lashes guys we're gonna get into our last product for the eyes and this is the it cosmetics lash blowout this was from our glam bag we're gonna go ahead and test it out. I did curl my lashes already off camera, so let's get into it. This is how the one side looks, top and bottom lash with the mascara. And then this is the side without. It definitely did add a little bit of volume and it helped fan them out. It didn't do much for definition, like actually defining the lashes, I guess because it is, like said, more of a volumizing mascara from the looks of it. Uh, but I really do like this mascara. The Shades by Shan Setting Spray from our Glam Bag Plus. Let's go ahead and mist our face. I am going to add some liner off camera, my lip liner, and then we're going to get into the last product as well. not too like drenching on the face it definitely gives a very light mist if that's something you like i don't mind like drenching my face in setting spray because i can i know it'll dry down eventually uh but let's see how this works i'll let my face dry off camera um i might add a second layer not sure depending how it looks 
and then we'll do the liner and the last lip product i did end up adding a second layer just to see how it goes um and it did wonderful i don't see any like streaking or anything like that my makeup came together really nice everything looks flawless nothing was disturbed especially in the eyeshadow area no creasing um i'm really liking this i'm gonna use it more again if you guys are interested in me doing a full wear test uh then i will do that for you guys just let me know in the comments now let's jump into our last makeup product and to finish off this look for the lip liner, in case you guys are interested, I use the Italia Deluxe Makeup Ultra Fine Lip Liner in shade Black Current. Now we're jumping into our M2U NYC Matte Liquid Lip in shade Queens. If you do want to see full product details, foundation base, all that good stuff, head to my Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. I will have the pictures up when this post goes out. It smells good. It kind of smells like, I want to say like a buttery popcorn. I've never actually smelled that in a makeup product, so that's cool. And then like, it smells like buttery popcorn, but then it has like hints of fruit. So I don't know, but it smells good. You would think that's a weird mix, but it smells really good. All first impressions, just applying it on. Uh, it does feel very soft and cushiony. So that's always nice. Guys, so this is how the look came out this stuff feels really nice on my lips it hasn't dried down fully so i'm gonna give it a second but while we give it a second let's fix up our hair get ready for these photos baby yeah guys this is the look what you guys are seeing right there is the lip liner that i used underneath it but the lippy is completely dry it does look like there's a little bit of tint coming off but again that could be the lip liner i put underneath just to make sure um i'm a lip liner girl so yeah just keep that in mind but um it's looking really good and it feels really nice it doesn't feel drying it's not showing a lot of lineage in my lips like how some matte uh lipsticks can and it feels really cushiony. Like I could, I feel like I could do, I could do all that, and nothing's gonna happen to it. Like it doesn't feel like it's cracking, flaking, anything. I need to get my hands on a couple more shades. I loved everything in this Ipsy, in these Ipsy bags this month. What did you guys think? How do you like the look? I think this is the perfect thanksgiving kind of autumn look right here like i didn't think it was going to come together like this when first starting out but i absolutely love it just a recap of the products and my final thoughts in the glam bag we got the mascara from it cosmetics the pyt beauty eyeshadow palette then we had the kinship moisturizer which i won't be trying out yet and the m2u nyc lippy which i'm obsessed with and then for the glam bag plus recap we had the setting spray we got the iconic london brushes which feel super soft and they blended everything very beautifully perlesi pumpkin ginger detoxifying charcoal mask which i can't wait to use because i love charcoal i am acne prone so it's definitely something i will be using soon the gloss modern perfume oil which will be a favorite of mine and the and the reina rebelde face and eyeshadow presumida palette which is beautiful there was fallout with a couple of the shades i love that you have everything in there i just do wish it did come with a compact mirror that is the end of this unbagging unboxing try on um this is the look that we created now i just have to say i really did enjoy all the products in these bags this month i like how they had a completely different variety from what i usually get like with the perfume oil with the candle that's something i don't typically see in these bags so i am really obsessed with these bags this month i think that's like just a bunch of coziness and self-care vibes right there honestly it would be really hard to tell you guys what would be my favorite product but i could definitely tell you a few my top favorites would be the perfume the Presumita palette, face and eyeshadow palette, the M2U lip, liquid lippy, and the candle. 
um those are like my top four favorites they were just all so freaking good and like I said i loved these bags absolutely obsessed if you guys are not a part of my galaxy glam squad yet then please subscribe down below hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads if you like this video then please show your support give it a like share it with friends leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this look and if you guys got any of the products in your ipsy bags as well again all individual product links will be mentioned in the description box below so just check that out with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back next month as always with another Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxings as well as our Boxy Charm unboxings. You guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are. Keep on thriving through a world of beauty. I will see you guys in my next video. Later, babes.